Right, you'll see now that I've actually gone in and I've done all the end caps on all the gutters. So what's next is to put your downpipes along the gutter. So what I do is um, I draw mine with a pipe tool. You can use parametric downpipes, but I just find it a lot more flexible to use pipes. So to go ahead and set up your pipes, I click on pipe here, and I've already got some pipes that I've made previously, but for those of you that haven't, just click on edit type, and then you need to do routing preferences, edit, load family, and then you need to select pipe, fittings, and I just use the generic. Can select all of these in the list, click open. Then, what you'll need to do is you'll need to come along down this content list here and you will need to come and just select those generic items that you've just loaded in there. Work your way all the way to the bottom, and then also in this minimum size, you'll need to come and select and you need to select on all of these and that will set your family up correctly for all your fittings. Click OK and click Apply and OK. Next thing to do, come into a side elevation and click Pipe and then come in and select in the center of your gutter and just draw your pipes as you feel you want them to look like. The good thing about pipes is once you've drawn them, you can actually click on them, you can pull them up, you can move them around. And that's gonna be about right. Okay, so what I've done, I've drawn that gutter in elevation. So now I wanna to come to front elevation and you'll see that it's over here. It's a lot easier to draw the pipes and then move them than to draw them in a reference plane. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna hover over the pipe. I'm gonna click tab once and then left mouse click and pull that over to where I feel that it looks right. And then I'm gonna hold my mouse over again, hold control and pull that other one so we've created a copy there. Then I'm just gonna do another copy. I'm gonna actually mirror the downpipes onto the other side. So I'm gonna hold it over, click tab once, hold control, left mouse click. So now you can see that I've select previous. I've got both of my gutters selected. So I'm gonna go back into that front elevation that we did first. Sorry, side elevation. I'm going to mirror those gutters along the center. So now you'll see we've got four downpipes all in the correct position. The other interesting thing about the pipes is if I go back into the side elevation, I draw a new pipe. If I draw a pipe down and to the side 90 degrees, you cannot create a, sorry, delete that. I create a pipe and I draw a pipe down and I wanna do an angle less than 45 degrees, it won't let me. So you need to draw an angle of 90 degrees or larger and then it'll draw. What you can do is you can click on that pipe now and then you can make it 90 and you can actually bring it up and then it will draw an angle which is less than 90 degrees but it obviously adds the second fitting so each angle is actually not going to be less than 90 degrees so you've got a 90 degree here and then like a 45 57 degree there so you can change a pipe to have less than 90 degrees but you can't create a pipe with less than 90 degrees and that's the end of the Got to downpipes.